Hi everyone, here is your pastor again, Father Engel. And as you'll notice here, we have got the two um, Advent candles that were lighted on the first and second uh, Sundays of Advent. And now uh, this Sunday, Gauteta Sunday, we're going to light this uh, rose colored, rose colored uh, candle to represent joy. And as we have mentioned before that, uh, this is a candle of joy. Jesus is our joy. The Lord who came to us, became one like us and became one of us. And that joy comes from the very fact that as a loving Lord, He came down to us. Now in the words of uh, the prophet Isaiah in chapter 61, this is how it says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God. So right here at these, uh, from the words of uh, the prophet Isaiah, where this prophet prophesied to us the reason why the Lord comes to us. He comes to give us the joy. And the joy flows from the fact that He comes to liberate us. Very clear here, to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, and to release, to announce the release of prisoners. So here, friends, that uh, our joy consists in the fact that the Lord comes to release us from the imprisonment. And that kind of imprisonment is imprisonment from ourselves, imprisonment from our worries, imprisonment from our preoccupations. And all of this is stuff that stop us from listening to Jesus and looking for Jesus. And so Jesus comes to us, that in the words of the prophet I say, he comes to say, to proclaim liberty to captives. We have become captives of ourselves, captives of our own pride and our sin, so Jesus comes to us. And that's the reason why the church celebrates this Gaudete Sunday. It's a Sunday of joy that Jesus comes to us in a manner we least expect, or should we say, He has come to us in a way that no human understanding could ever fathom the death of that wisdom of God coming to become like us in all things except sin. Queridos hermanos y hermanas, aquí estamos otra vez. Que como han visto ustedes, aquí tenemos las dos velas que hemos encendido durante en el primer eh, domingo y el segundo domingo de Adviento. Y en esta semana, de este domingo, vamos a encender esta tercera vela que tiene el color de una rosa porque eso representa alegría. Así que esta semana o este domingo se llama Gaudete o Domingo de Gaudete. O sea, Gaudete es, un, es una palabra de latín que se llama, que se significa la alegría. Y entonces esta vela es la vela de alegría. Pero ¿de dónde viene esa alegría? La alegría viene de Dios, viene de Cristo y su hombre. Como dice... Eh, el profeta Isaías, que vamos a leer en la primera lectura de esta semana, así dice, El Espíritu del Señor está sobre mí porque me ha ungido y me ha enviado para anunciar la buena nueva a los pobres, a curar a los de corazón quebrantado, a proclamar el perdón a los cautivos, la libertad a los prisioneros y a pregonar el año de gracia del Señor. Mire, estas palabras son la fuente de nuestra alegría. Es la razón de nuestra alegría porque Dios en la persona de Cristo ha venido o viene para liberarnos. Liberarnos eh, porque somos prisioneros de nuestras preocupaciones. Somos prisioneros de, de nuestros pecados o cualquier cosa que nos para a seguir a Cristo totalmente. Y así que Cristo, nuestra alegría, ha venido para pregonar el año de gracia a cada, nosotros, a cada uno de nosotros para 
eh, seguimos ¿no? esos pasos para estar siempre en, el, en este camino de alegría que es Cristo mismo. And so, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we continue to go on with our um, daily activities as usual while uh, we are waiting for the Lord and while preparing for, for the coming of the Lord. Let us remember the words of St. Paul in his letter to the Thessalonians, and that will be part of our second reading this, uh, this weekend, where it says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. He says, pray without ceasing. I know that in the midst of these most unusual times, it's so difficult to think about what to do, or perhaps uh, it's not easy for us to plan well, because we don't know. I mean, uh, these are difficult times. However, we have Jesus, who is our hope. He is our joy. And so, as St. Paul says, rejoice always. And may I end this greeting with the greetings of St. Paul where he says, May the God of peace make you perfectly holy and may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you all.